Good evening, everyone. President Dallal, Provost Abdurrahman, Dean Kamel, thank you so much for this incredible, very generous introduction, which could have gotten me not to continue, say, my, uh, my talk this, uh, this afternoon. Esteemed parents, families, guests, and proud class of 2022, congratulations. It's an honor and a pleasure to be with you here today. I'm invited because of what you heard earlier as an entrepreneur, as a company builder, as a person that spent 40 years here in the region with its complexities, with its challenges, and with its aspirations. I stayed, I studied outside the region, but I came back and stayed, and the region needs so many of you to stay and so many of us to continue building because the challenges are massive. I'm reminded as I start my talk to you to this short story. It's about this runner full of energy, dashing toward, he's in a race, dashing towards the 100 line, uh, the 100 uh, uh, meter line reaches the end of the line, raises his hands in incredible exhilaration that he has arrived. And then somebody comes and whispers, whispers in his ear and says, this is a marathon, not a hundred meter dash. Keep running. Let me be your whisperer. You have to keep running. This is just the beginning. And I want to tell you with this beginning that you are the lucky ones, believe it or not. Lucky ones because in a span of two or three years, you got to experience everything that my, my generation experienced in 20, 30, or 40 years of working. In three or four years, you experienced every single challenge that the world could have thrown. And that is as good as any education. You would study it in books, but you lived it every single day. So that's why you are the lucky ones. You're experiencing technology disruptions, digital revolutions, scientific and medical miracles, boom markets and bust markets within a very short period of time, rampant rampant inflation, and zero inflation just six months before that, and then a pandemic and lockdowns, then vaccines and the miracle of medicine. Climate change, you are living it in real time. Supply chain disruptions, you study about them, but now you are feeling them. Food essential shortages. War in Europe, which we thought would never happen since World War II is right here, and we're learning so much from what is happening. It's affecting globalization, and the world economy is in flux. Yet, you are the lucky ones. Lucky ones because you have experienced all of those and not gone into the market when there is only one trend, either going up or a depression or a recession, gets you to understand the whole challenge spectrum within a very short period of time. Which means this is the time for you to act. And here is why you are lucky. Because here is where the opportunities lie. The challenges are by definition opportunities. This is the time for you to be innovative, to be entrepreneurial. Peter Drucker the father of management, and you can tell my age when I quote Peter Drucker because probably most of you did not study Peter Drucker, but uh, Dean Campbell would know uh, Peter Drucker and he is essential for me to state here today. He says, yet surely this is a time to make the future. Precisely because everything is in flux, this is a time for action. It's a time for you to solve, to build, to innovate, to create, 
Every single challenge is an opportunity. So many of them, this is the, the age of exponential change. When I graduated, everybody was talking about one thing you need to remember is that change is constant. But what you need to remember is that this is exponential change. This is rapid change. This is change that we've never experienced in any lifetime before. This is the age of Web 3.0, emerging cryptocurrencies. The metaverse is here, if we can define it. Artificial intelligence and machine learning is at the core of every technological innovation. CRISPR technologies and gene editing is at the core at solving diseases. Space exploration you are experiencing right now, renewable and solar energies are at the core of what the world needs to do to save itself from global warming. And these are all opportunities. These are all for you to go out and explore and solve and build for. And that's why you are the lucky ones, because we are living in flux, and in flux, opportunities will continue to arise. But as I tell you of these opportunities, and which you must have known about anyway, I want to ask you a series of questions as you go and become leaders, as you become people that are going to be change makers, builders of new companies and companies of the future and the 21st century changers. And a small joke here. The other day, I heard this joke from somebody that was talking about AI. It said, I told my AI machine, which could be your Siri or your Alexa, that I, sh I love, I love shrimp tempura. And it said back to me, what is that? I said, what's shrimp tempura? And it said, no, what is love? The challenges of AI is not enough. The question of love is essential. And why do, am I mentioning love here? Because in disruption, we leave so many people behind. We leave so many people behind. Businesses keep focusing on businesses. And so the question that I want to pose for you as you continue, as you build businesses, as you become business leaders, the question of love and caring is essential for you is essential for you. Will you build businesses that have a purpose that is, has at the core of it also the interest of society? What values are you going to build your businesses with? What culture are you going to build your organizations with? Will you think that the business of business is only business, or is there a role for business in society and how it affects society? Does it matter? Do you think it matters? Will you have a culture of inclusiveness? Will you think very seriously about gender equity and how it affects society and how it is going to change society as we know it today? Will you be profit maximizers only or will you be people that think of stakeholders as a whole? Do we understand that society is holistic and we cannot separate ourselves as business, as business leaders from that a challenge that society will face as the world lives in flux? Will we abdicate our role as business leaders, as entrepreneurs, as builders of development and leave it and think that it is not our business? Or do we understand very clearly that when we leave society behind, we are also leaving ourselves behind? And will we understand that a society that is the well-being of society is the, our own well-being. We cannot have a successful organization or we cannot be leaders in our countries or in our organizations without thinking of the holistic well-being of society. These are the questions that I'm going to leave with you. 
I'm not going to give you many advice here because you need to think about a lot of things and there's a lot of things that need, you need to develop by yourself. But the opportunities are out there. They are for you to conquer and for you to change the realities that we live in. Thank you very much and congratulations again.